We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, and special seasonal prayers. For your free copy, order online at heartofthenation.org or call us toll-free at 1-855-855-MASS or write to Heart of the Nation, Post Office Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53214. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. The Heart of the Nation Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please consider an offering today to support the Mass on TV and online. Thank you, and may God bless you. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, morning, Father. We carry on with our season of Lent, the second Sunday to be exact, so I hope that you're all carrying on well in this period of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. And let us pray. O God, who have commanded us to listen to your beloved Son, be pleased, we pray, to nourish us inwardly by your word, that with spiritual sight made pure, we may rejoice to behold your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham. Here I am, he replied. Then God said, 
Take your son Isaac, your only one, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a holocaust, on a height that I will point out to you. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your only beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a holocaust in place of his son. Again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, 
who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. How will he not also give us everything else along with him? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us. Who will condemn? Christ Jesus it is who died, or rather was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain apart from themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white such as no fuller on earth could bleach them. Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses, and they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say, they were so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. From the cloud came a voice, This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. Suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone, except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I've got a very straightforward message for you today. We heard the transfiguration in the gospel. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. That should sound familiar. Because if you keep up on daily mass readings or if you read the Bible on your own, this should call to mind the baptism of Jesus. We heard that uh, early January this year and every year. In the Gospel of Mark as well, for that reading, a voice came from the heavens and said, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. So we have that same phrase in both the baptism of Jesus and the trans transfiguration according to Mark. And the takeaway here is that our faith is always an interconnected whole. The birth of, the, the birth of Jesus is never separate from his death on the cross, which we never mourn without also 
having the resurrection in mind. The transfiguration is linked to Jesus' baptism because the gospel is not a random mishmash of, of random stories and spiritual advice. The gospel is a testament, a testimony of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. If you want to understand Jesus Christ, you owe it to yourself, sooner or later, to know the whole story and how it all fits together. Jesus was pleasing to his heavenly father at his baptism and his transfiguration. Remember that today and for the rest of Lent. Remember this especially, if you please. Remember this on Good Friday. When Jesus says, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Do not listen to these lines as if they exist in a vacuum. They are all part of a greater whole. And beyond Good Friday, when we celebrate that great day, which is Easter Sunday, remember everything that Jesus did, endured, and experienced while along the way. It all leads to the resurrection of Christ on Easter Sunday. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As the solemnity of Easter approaches, dear friends, let us pray to the Lord to be all the more insistent that all of us and the whole multitude of the baptized, together with the entire world, may come to share more abundantly in this sacred mystery. For the church, that God's generosity to Abraham and his descendants might motivate us to share our blessings with those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world, may it be transformed into one of peace and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those whose lives are threatened or made difficult by the extreme storms and temperatures of winter, that the Lord may watch over them and keep them safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have health conditions that are painful, terminal, or difficult to treat, especially among our heart of the nation parish family, that their suffering may be transfigured by the Lord's presence in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us, may thee be surrounded by the saints in the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs and prayers of all of our heart of the nation parish members, including those joining us from the state of Michigan, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Have mercy, O Lord, on the prayers of your church and turn with compassion to the hearts that bow before you, that those you make sharers in the divine mystery may never be left without your assistance through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all his holy church. May the sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after he had told the disciples of his coming death on the holy mountain, he manifested to them his glory to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer one another a sign of peace, especially to those viewing at home today. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
and let us pray. As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us while still on earth to be partakers even now of the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Bless your faithful, we pray, O Lord, with a blessing that endures forever. Keep them faithful to the gospel of your only begotten Son, so that they may always desire and at last attain that glory whose beauty he showed in his own body to the amazement of his apostles through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, Scripture readings, and special seasonal prayers. For your free copy, order online at heartofthenation.org or call us toll-free at 1-855-855-MASS or write to Heart of the Nation, Post Office Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53214. Your privacy is important to us and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. The Heart of the Nation Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please consider an offering today to support the Mass on TV and online. Thank you and may God bless you.